There is a mentality in photography that once you photograph something, you move on and find another spot to go to. But there is a very good reason why you should return to a place time and time again. Because you aren't just a photographer, but rather you are a storyteller. And the more you visit a place, the more you understand what story to tell. It's why I've been coming to Channel Islands National Park for 20 years. I've watched this island ecosystem evolve through time. And one of the best stories is the recovery of the smallest fox in North America, the island fox. At one time, there were only a handful of fox left, fewer than 20 on some islands. But today, they are back from the brink of extinction, and I'm ready, camera in hand, to show the world how magnificent these little fluffy canines can be. The island fox is a unique species, found nowhere else on Earth except on three of the five islands in the park, which are located just off the coast of Southern California. It's similar to its mainland cousin, the gray fox, but smaller. It's not long before I spot my first fox, just hanging out right in the campground. There he is over there. When the new boat of people arrives, the fox hear them and they come down to the campgrounds to see if any food or anything else has been left out unattended. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, this is great. See, this tells a story because he's like on a picnic table. See, now this is what he's used to. This is what he's eating. And so, not exactly a tough challenge as a photographer, but it's still part of the story of this national park. I'm in search of a shot of the fox in the wild, surrounded by wildflowers. And I was lucky enough to get that opportunity first thing the next morning. I've got an island fox who's not even all that far away. He's about 200 feet away. So I've got my 70 to 200 millimeter lens on, and I've got a 1.4x teleconverter. That's gonna get me really close. That gets me about three, a little over 300 millimeters of, of lens power. So now all I need is that one moment where he stops and looks at me. All right, I think I got it. By coming to these islands year after year, season after season, I've had the chance to see the fox many times, helping build a portfolio of the recovery of a species that almost went extinct. I've also learned that telling the story of wildlife is all about the small moments that add up through the years giving a complete story of one of the most adorable little creatures in California. 